Hi, welcome to the Vector Software Testing Symposium. My name is Derek Opitz, and I'm a product line manager for Vector. Today, we will be talking about how you can leverage virtual environments in your software testing. Virtual environments allow you to start testing earlier and test more often. As a result, you can find issues earlier in the development cycle and reduce technical debt. During this presentation, we will start off talking about the different types of software testing and the benefits of using virtual environments during these phases. Then I will tell you a little about the vector tools and how these tools can leverage virtual environments to help you during all your software testing stages. When we talk about software testing, we typically talk about two categories, unit testing and software in the loop testing. For unit testing, the control of the software under test is done by a test tool or test framework. The test tool or test framework is responsible for setting up the test, calling the functions, and verifying the results at the end of the test. For seal testing, the software under test runs autonomously. The input data and output data from the software under test is controlled through a functional interface. Unit testing typically involves less code than software in the loop testing. For unit testing, we are typically testing a single module, and we are testing the functions or methods inside that module in isolation. For unit integration testing, we are testing multiple modules together and testing the data flow between functions and modules. For component testing, we are testing a single software component. The data flow is done at the component interface level. For component integration testing, we are testing multiple software components together and testing the interfaces and interactions between components. For software system testing, we are testing the fully integrated software system, and the testing is typically end-to-end -end testing. Unit testing is testing a small piece of software in isolation, and each test typically only calls a single function or a few functions. Stubbing and mocking is used to resolve software dependencies for any code that is not provided in the software under test. The test harness is responsible for setting up the input data to the software under test. This could be input parameters to the functions under test, this could be global data, or even data provided by mocks. Once the input data is set up, the test harness calls the functions under test. At the end of the test, the test harness verifies the output against the expected test results. Unit integration testing typically involves multiple modules tested together and also tests the data flow between functions. Stubbing and mocking is still necessary to resolve any missing software dependencies, but unit integration testing usually involves less stubs and more real code. The test harness is still responsible for setting up the input data to the software under test, and once the input data is set up, the test harness is responsible for calling the function under test and controlling any data flow between functions. At the end of the test, the test harness verifies the output against the expected test results. In SIL testing, the software runs autonomously. There is no test harness like with unit testing. The input data and output data from the software under test is controlled through a functional system interface. The functional system interface could be at the component interface level, the hardware interface level, or any type of IO interface. In the example shown, the input data is from a sensor, so the test framework needs to provide the input data to that sensor interface. The output data is sent to an actuator, so the test framework needs to collect the output data at the actuator interface. So what are some of the benefits of virtual environments for unit and unit integration testing? One of the benefits is that you can start writing tests earlier in the development process. As soon as you have code available and it compiles, you can start writing unit tests. You can run those unit tests on the host, you can run those unit tests on a simulator or an emulator. And once you have started building up your tests, you can start integrating those into your CI CD. Then as code changes, as you develop more code, you can run those tests against that new code and quickly see what impact that has on your testing. Another benefit of using virtual environments in a unit integration testing is a simple test setup. You don't need target hardware, you don't need a debug connection, you don't need the cabling between the host and the target hardware. You can contain everything into a virtual environment, make setup much easier. And another benefit is faster test execution. Virtual environments typically just run faster than the hardware. There's no data that has to flow across that connection between the target hardware and the host. Uh, there's no flashing your target hardware, that sort of thing. And then debugging test failures is typically easier in a virtual environment than it is on the live hardware. It's easier to set up the debug connection. It's easier to get the test case running, that sort of thing. And then from a CIDC CICD perspective, 
as you start building up more tests, your testing time is going to get longer. And you could go from running all your tests in minutes to running them in hours and maybe even then, you know, multiple hours and maybe even a day. And being able to spin up as many virtual environments as, as you need to compress that testing time is very powerful. It's something you can't get with hardware, but you can get with your virtual environments. And compressing that testing time down to minutes allows you to implement a test on commit type workflow where your developers are required to run all those unit tests, run their branch through that validation suite, run all those unit tests against that, that branch, see what test failures are, see what code coverage gaps they are, and they can get results back within minutes so they can start fixing those test failures, closing in those code coverage gaps. If it takes hours or even a day to run all those test cases, you're going to delay your development process. The developers are not going to want to run that full test suite. And, you know, it's just going to end up with pushing those failures down the line to whenever you do get a chance to run them. Maybe it's the weekend, maybe it's even further out. Scalability is another big benefit of virtual environments. You can put your entire unit testing setup into a container. And then you can deploy that container to developers, to testers. They verify that one, you know it works, it's been tested. Two, every developer, every tester has exact same setup. There's no hardware requirements for those. They don't have to go find the hardware, find the debugger, all that sort of thing. And then as you start ramping up your testers, ramping up your developers, it's easy to deploy that container to these new developers, new testers, instead of having them follow some guide where they have to go through the steps of setting everything up debugging any failed steps. It's all containerized, it's all deployed, it all works, makes it easy to deploy to, to new testers, new developers. And then you can run those same containers in your CI CD framework. So what are some of the benefits of virtual environments for SEAL testing? Well, one of the benefits is you can start testing earlier in the development process, just like with unit testing. As soon as you have that first component uh, building, you can start creating tests against that component. You can start testing out those component interfaces, verifying that those work, making sure that component is fully tested. And then again, just like with unit testing, you can start integrating all those tests into your CI CD framework. When code changes, when new code gets added, you can quickly see what impact that has on your development process. Easier test setup is another big benefit. With hill testing, you typically have your target hardware. You have some special test hardware. You've got the cabling between them. You've got to make sure that's all working properly. With virtual environments, you know, you, you don't have any of that set up. You just fire up your virtual environment, you connect to it, you start running your tests. You know, that, that hill setup can be timely, it can be expensive. Virtual environments eliminates all of those areas. Another is faster test execution. You're not having to flash the target hardware, you're not having to send data across that that bus or that or that debug connection. Here it's all contained to a virtual environment and typically it's going to run faster. Scalability. Just like with the unit testing, it's easier to scale your testing to support parallel testing. Instantiate as many environments as necessary, compress that testing time, make it easier to run those tests early, to run those tests often. And then error conditions and fatal scenarios. Since you control the input data, it's much easier to test error conditions, much easier to do boundary robustness testing, and you're not taking a chance on damaging your hardware by causing fatal scenarios or causing error conditions. And then debugging. It's typically just easier to debug in a virtual environment. As soon as your test has a fault condition, you can pause that test right at that point where the fault happened. You can connect your debugger, start debugging that setup. So let's talk a little bit about the vector tools and how they can help you with your software testing. For unit testing, Vector has the tools VectorCast C++ and VectorCast Ada. VectorCast C++ is a complete unit testing solution for C and C++ code. VectorCast Ada is a complete unit testing solution for Ada code. For SEAL testing, if you're doing an AutoSAR project, then Canoe with vVirtual Target provides a SEAL testing solution. For all other types of SEAL testing, you have Canoe for software, and then for automation and parallel execution, you have Canoe for software server edition. And then you have VTest Studio, which is a test authoring tool for SEAL and HIL testing. If you want code coverage to measure for requirements or even just for test completeness purposes, for unit testing, code coverage is provided by the two unit test tools, VectorCast C++ and VectorCast Ada. And for SEAL and HIL testing, code coverage is provided by VectorCast QA. And then SCORE is our tool, our code quality test data analytics tool. It is a data aggregator 
So it can aggregate data from all these tools that you see on the screen, as well as almost any other tool, static analysis, requirements, architecture tools. And then you could set up key performance indicators or KPIs that you want to measure against. And then SCORE will take all that data and measure your code against those KPIs. So let's talk a little bit about the unit test solution that Vector provides, which is Vector C++ and VectorCast ADA. So VectorCast is a complete unit testing solution for C, C++, and ADA programming languages. How it works is it builds a test harness around a piece of your code. It automatically provides any stubs. If you have dependencies that you're not providing in your source code, it'll stub those. It could be function calls. It could be global data. It's going to stub those dependencies. Then it's going to provide you with a interface, a GUI interface, so that you can set up input parameters to your code under test. You can set up expected values for your code under test. Then you can execute those tests within VectorCast and make sure that your expected values match the results from the test, make sure that your code coverage is correct, that sort of thing. So VectorCast is a test authoring tool. It does text execution, does test verification, that's the expected values provides code coverage, and then also it has complete reporting and metrics. You can run tests from VectorCast on, on host. You can run them on uh, simulator, emulator. You can run them on RTOS. You can run them or even on target hardware. And one of the nice features about VectorCast is it allows you to do all of your test development in a virtual environment. And then at the end, with a single click of a button, you can then run those exact same tests on your target hardware if you're running for SCORE. So if you're going for DL-178C or you're going for ISO 26262 or IEC 61508 and you need to run your tests on your target hardware, VectorCast is designed to allow you to develop on virtual environments and then deploy on hardware. VectorCast has Qualdocs for DL-178C and we have two certification for ISO 26262, IEC 61508, and IEC 62304. VectorCast supports most simulators and emulators out of the box. You can see a list here of the ones that we support. We support the three most popular host-based compilers, which is Visual Studio and then GCC for Windows, GCC for Linux. We support all the most popular simulators, all the most popular emulators, and then for RTOS emulators, VMs, and also live on target boards, we support these four RTOSs, Integrity, VxWorks, DDCA, DOS, QNX. These are the virtual environments and RTOSs that we support out of the box. VectorCast is designed to be highly customizable. So within an hour or two of an FAE's time, we can get you up and running in almost any virtual environment, almost any target hardware, or almost any RTOS. So if you need support for one that's not listed here, let us know, we can help you out. VectorCast is designed to support parallel build and execute on a per project basis. A VectorCast project is a collection of unit test environments and allows for full parallel execution of all those environments within a project. We have a full command line interface where you can have complete control of that project and of those environments so you can build up the, your own parallel infrastructure or we have a Jenkins plugin available that will take that project and generate the pipeline snippet for inclusion in your own pipeline. Or you can use that Jenkins plugin to build the pipeline for you. And that VectorCast plugin for Jenkins has pipeline support and it has full reporting capabilities. It can show you a code coverage trends, test result trends, all kinds of metrics on your code. We also have integrations with most other CI CD servers, such as GitLab, Azure, GitHub Actions, Bamboo, and others. In this example on the screen, that the picture shown is a blue ocean view of a VectorCast project in the pipeline. So you can see that the one that's highlighted in red has looks like six environments all running in parallel in a Jenkins pipeline. Canoe for Software is vector solution for SIL testing. Canoe for Software can be used to model both physical and software environments, and it can easily connect to the virtual environment and stimulate and verify the software running inside of that virtual environment. Canoe for Software stimulates and verifies the data through functional system interfaces, which can be interfaces to sensors and actuators, or even interfaces to other software components. These functional system interfaces are defined by the user and allow Canoe for Software to provide data to the software and gather data from the software. VTest Studio is a test authoring tool that can be used to create tests that are then executed in Canoe for Software. 
And then for code coverage purposes, VectorCast QA can use, be used to instrument your code. You run your tests with Canoe for software, and we and VectorCast can show you all your code coverage on those tests. The way that Canoe for software talks to your software is through the Vector Seal Kit. So if your software is running in a virtual ECU or in a software application, such as a native, a native host application or an emulator or a simulator, you can include this open source library into your software and the Canoe software can connect to that seal kit and it can stimulate your software under test. It can verify your software under test. So once you have the seal kit in, um, in place, then you would create functional system interfaces in your software, which would allow Canoe to provide data through those interfaces and collect data also through those interfaces. So you can see some examples of how the SIL kit can be used in virtual testing. So here's some of the systems under test. Vector has a product called vVirtual Target. You can notice it's already integrated with SIL kit. So you can run vVirtual Target on your host and then connect to that from Canoe for software or even the Vector test unit runner and drive testing through that. Also for Kemu, we have a Kemu adapter it is free. They can turn your code software under test running in Kemu to allow Canoe for software to test to connect to that, stimulate your test, stimulate your software, verify your software that's running in Kemu. Same with the simulator or emulators as well. And then not only for Canoe for software, but if you're running on a CI CD server or you're running in parallel, you may need Canoe for software server edition. This allows you to full command line um, access to run all your tests in parallel, run all your tests in a CI CD environment. And then the vector test unit runner is a free open source tool that allows you to automate testing through the SIL kit. For test authoring, we have VTest Studio, which is our test design tool. And then we have VS Code Extension, which is a free extension to VS Code that allows you to create tests free of charge. Canoe for Software Server Edition enables parallel execution. Canoe for Software Server Edition has a command line utility that can be used to build and compile all of the tests. And all that building and compiling the tests can be done in parallel. Those tests can be compiled for Windows or they can be com cross-compiled for Linux. And once you have those compiled binaries, then you can run those tests in parallel in your CI CD framework. This concludes my presentation on utilizing virtual environments to test your software. To summarize, virtual environments can be leveraged across all testing phases to test earlier, test more often, and therefore allow you to increase your testing efficiency. It also allows you to find issues earlier in the development cycle and decrease technical debt. We have also discussed some of the vector solutions available to help you in your software testing process. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to answering your questions during the Q&A.